Hey guys, it's Jean. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, I do subscription unbagging and unboxings. I do makeup, skincare, do a little jewelry, fashion, uh, do some thrifting, some hauls, and uh, if that's something that you're into, by all means hit the subscribe button. And uh, to my returning subscribers, thank you. And today, we are going to open something different on my channel. Um, and this is Crate British. And uh, this up front looks like it uh, comes from the United Kingdom. Now, I originally planned on doing this with my boyfriend PJ, but he is still sick. Poor guy. So, it's up to me to try this box of candy. It's a British candy box subscription. Um, I only signed up to do it once because um, we know how these new subscription boxes are with me. I um, <laughs> tend to do, tend to get some bad ones. Um, anyway, this is, a, it's six, Sixteen and ninety-nine pounds. Sixteen dollar. Sixteen point ninety-nine pounds. So actually, it's about twenty-two dollars in uh, in uh, American currency. Um, to take a while to get, which understandably it uh, came from the United Kingdom. So I do not know what's in here. I did. I did, uh, you know, start opening the box because I struggle and, you know, you don't need that. I do have a cup of tea <laughs> and some water because uh, who knows what we'll be trying. Uh, again, um, I wish PJ could have been here to do it with me, but again, he's been sick for like five days, got whatever's going around, so, um, and we... The him and I love all things British. Uh, we love British TV. We love British movies. Uh, it's on our bucket list to go to England. So we just tend to gravitate more towards uh, British things. Don't know why. Um, and sorry, I'm a little casual. <laughs> My hair's a little out of place. I fell asleep. Uh, so anyway, so let's, uh, let's get into this British crate. So this is what it looks like. I will be trying most of the stuff, uh, cause I can guarantee there's probably some stuff in here that I won't try, won't like, but we can leave to PJ. So, uh, let's go with the first thing in here. And I think it's the Looks like the only thing that's savory. Now, these are kettle sweet chili and sour cream. Absolutely nothing artificial. Um, that's what they look like. Um, hand cooked potato chips with sweet chili and sour cream seasoning. I do not like anything hot. However, this says sweet chili, so let's, uh, we're gonna try this. Let me see. This is the only thing that's, uh, savory. All right, so, that's what they look like. For the average person, they would say these are not hot at all. For me, they're hitting me right back here. When something's too spicy, it makes my ears itch. I mean, my ears are itching. But I'm going to finish this. They don't taste bad. They actually taste pretty good. I could probably 
I would probably eat these. Um, yeah, I kind of like them. Actually. It's a little spicy. For me, it's a little spicy, but it's not that bad. So, I like these. But that is the only thing that's savory. Everything else is candy isk. Um, so I'm going to pull out these because I know that I'm not going to try these because these are banana minions. The tiny, tasty, chewy sweets. Well, that's what they look like. And... Yeah, it's banana, and I despise banana, so I will keep these aside for PJ to try. What do we got next? All right, so we have Crate British Pick and Mix Haribo Treat Throbs. See that? And there we go. Oh, let's see what we got. These are Haribo. Did Haribo make gummies? I think these are probably gummies. Oh, they're cute. They are gummy hearts. Is that what they look like? Little red, little white. Oh, they're gummy. You guys take me forever to eat that. They're okay. Um, I think it'll take forever to eat them. They're not bad. Actually, they get better as you, as you come along, chew along with them. So, they're not too bad. And what do we have next? We have... This is a Kit Kat chunky peanut butter. So it's a, I guess it's a British thing too. So it's a Kit Kat, one of those big ones and it's got peanut butter in it. I like peanut butter. Um, not a big fan of it like this. Like I like peanut butter cups, but so this one I'm not going to try. I'm going to save this for PJ. He is a peanut butter fanatic. So he will get to try that one. Let's see what else we got in here. We have a stinger. Oh boy. Tutti Frutti Chew Bar with Fizzy Center. I don't know what it looks like. Hmm. <laughs> it's vegan. Um, actually, PJ is a vegetarian, so I don't even know if there's a lot of stuff in here that, well, he could try. But anyway, I am going to try this. Tutti Frutti Chew Bar with Fizzy Center. Okay. Let us try this. Oh, it kind of looks like Laffy Taffy. Well, let's take a bite. Or, oh. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know about this one. This is taffy. Yeah, well, you know what? I can't even break a piece off. So <laughs> I will try this in the end after I try everything else. Ooh, and that's sticky. Hmm. Doesn't taste too bad. I'm sure I'll like it. Um, and we have Love Hearts. Um, 
swizzles, swizzles, love hearts. It's not really telling me what they are. But it does have an Instagram and a Facebook page. So anyway, let's open this up and see what we got here. I kind of. I'm saving the chocolate for last because <laughs> chocolate's my jam. Okay, so that's what, yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to see that. Oh, it's got a little heart on there. And it says glam. I thought it said clam, but it says glam. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mmm. Well, I like that a lot. Kind of like our version of sweet tart, but a little bit more. I don't know if it's a little more sweet or a little more tart. Oh, wow, I like these. And it kind of. Almost like they disintegrate in your mouth. Wow, I like these a lot. So good. I'm going to have another one. I kind of didn't think I would like these. I don't know why. Um, this has got a little winking face on it. I don't know if you can... Well, we're never going to see that. So, I'm going to read it. It's good. So, I think I could just closely compare them to Sweet Tart. Well, actually, they taste better than Sweet Tart. Mm -mm. Oh, I like that a lot. Yum, yum, yum. Um... Next up, we have Rolos, um, American, British, I think I'm going to try one, even though I haven't had a Rolo in years, so let's just, uh, let's just have one for fun's sake, and I just peeled off the Tastes just like I remember. This actually has... <laughs> this says... Each half tube contains... Energy. I, I'm wondering if it's got like ca caffeine or something in it. Cocoa plan. I don't know. Do I think it tastes different? I don't know, but it, it's like it says each half tube contains energy, 417 kg, 99 kcal, 5%. Who knows? It's chocolate, it's caramel. Not bad. All right. What do we have next? Next we have Fry's Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight wrapped in milk chocolate. No artificial colors or flavorings. Turkish Delight. Feels very heavy. And I, you know what? I think they're the way they label their stuff is different because this one says energy too. It like tells you how many kgs of energy is in there. Salt, sugars, 
I don't know. Let me read about this. Could it get any smaller? Turkish Delight, 76% covered with milk chocolate. And the rest is just all the other garbage that's in chocolate, so. Let's try it. I'm not overly thrilled with this box, but I wanted to try candy first. I, I, I'm gonna keep doing um, British type chocolates and stuff because, oh my, that's what it looks like. And it's very, oh. Oh, I don't think so. It's like jelly. I hate jelly. And jams and... Oh, I'm gonna try it. Oh. No. Okay. Safe to say I don't like Turkish delights. Oh, that is like a chocolate covered I don't know Ooh, that's bad that's really bad oh okay that's really bad it could be a texture thing I don't know but that's just really bad okay anyway <laughs> Um, this is Cadbury Flake. And this says the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. The, crum the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. I mean, Cadbury's good. So let's see. It is, it's very crumbly. Okay. That is what it looks like. We're gonna take a bite. I don't know what it looks like. I mean, it's just like, like you shaved off chocolate from a chocolate bar. Just shaved it off and kind of threw it back together. It's, all right. Definitely crumbly. It's not bad. I wouldn't. Yeah, it's okay. In a pinch. I'm sure PJ will like it. As long as it's vegetarian. Alright, the last thing we have is a galaxy bar. Um, smooth and creamy galaxy chocolate with luxurious salted caramel. Well, I have cotton when you can have silk. Okay, I didn't quite understand that. Right. Um, milk chocolate with salted caramel. Looks like it was a pound. Or it's a pound of chocolate. I don't know. Um, all right, let's try this. This, this looks promising. Oh, but that Turkish delight. Ugh. That was god awful. All right. <laughs> All right, see, it looks like on the inside I'm making a mess of it. Oh, not gonna eat all that. Maybe after I shut the camera off. All right, let's go ahead. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. Mm. I love caramel like that. Yep, this 
is really good. Can taste the salt a little bit, but uh, mm, I like this a lot. So is it worth twenty two dollars? I don't know. I mean, I did try some stuff that I've never had before. Um, like these uh, love hearts, which are really good. Actually, it's one of my favorite in the whole box. Um, the peanut butter Kit Kat. No, oh, seems American to me. And uh, banana minions. No, oh, these are like little. They almost look like little. They used to have pop rocks. They feel very hard. Anyway, TJ will be trying these. Um. Rolos. Again, Rolos American. So, um, the, <laughs> the gummy hearts. They were okay. They were pretty good. Um, but again, you can get them in America. I would think. Um, this Cadbury flake that I've never seen it in America, but um, it was pretty good. I mean, in a pinch, if you really need chocolate and this is all you have, it'll do the trick. Um, yeah, the Turkish delight. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I will, uh, let PJ try it. Um, it has gross. I don't know. It was like, I, I can't even explain it. It's, it's like, I don't even know what that is. Oof. Okay. Well, that was bad. Um, and the sweet chili and sour cream chips, they were good. I don't know if it's completely British, but I liked them. You know, it's, uh, I tried to make Kathy. I'm going to break a tooth. Oh, the things you do for you too. Um, yeah, so. A stinger, taffy. Tastes good. Holy smokes. I'm too old for that. I might lose a cap or something. Filling. <laughs> anyway, so. Probably everything that I got in my British crate. Um, I've had some epic fails with new boxes. I wouldn't necessarily call this an epic fail. Um. I think I'm more looking for biscuits and more chips and more cakey type of stuff, less candy. Um, so I'm going to keep looking. Um, again, this is about $22, including shipping. Crate British. Um, not bad. Not bad. Um, I did, however, only just sign up for, you know, I, I canceled it before I got another, another, uh, shipment because I just didn't know. So anyway, so that is, sorry, I got taffy in my teeth. <laughs> We're picking this out for days. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, again, if you're new um, and you like subscription unbagging and unboxings and strange food, strange candy, not so strange candy, Turkish delights, please by all means subscribe. I love new subscribers. Uh, I am currently up to, I think, 114. Yay! Subscriber dance. Um, and again, to my 
current subscribers, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your encouragement and watching my videos, the good and the bad. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys, guys have a good evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye.